Welcome to TechPress with Dahmer. In this video, we are going to learn how to delete files from Azure Blob Storage by using SSIS package. So in this case, so what we are doing, our SSIS package is running on our on-premises server and then we need to maybe upload the data to some blob storage and also delete some files which are sitting in the Azure Blob Storage. So first of all, we need to have a blob storage. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is my Azure portal and in the Azure portal, I have created this blob storage right there and it has the uh, containers uh, and in the container I have uh, Azure input, uh, input uh, container. So this uh, container has a blob directory called my demo files and uh, there are uh, some files sitting there. Uh, these most of them are .txt file and one of them is a .xls file. So now we are all good here. We know that we need to delete these files uh, and uh, we are going to take a look uh, how we can create our SSIS package uh, that can run from the on-premises uh, and uh, delete these files. Uh. So let's open Visual Studio and uh, once you open the Visual Studio, in my case I have a Visual Studio 2017, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So go new, right there, project, integration services project and I'm going to call this uh, delete files on Azure blob. Okay, hit OK. A project will be opened up with the one uh, package. So right there is uh, our package.dtexec. Uh, and now what we need, uh, we need uh, something uh, from the Azure side. Uh, so we need Azure components uh, or task uh, that can help us. Uh, here is, uh, you see that uh, right now it's a grayed out. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to download Azure feature pack. Uh, so you're gonna click right there. Once you click there, now what's gonna happen uh, is gonna navigate you to this uh, uh, link. And here you can uh, download uh, uh, Azure uh, feature pack for uh, your uh, SQL Server 2019 or 2017. In my case, I'm running a SQL Server 2017 and uh, that's what I need to download. Once I download that, uh, it's uh, gonna download MSI file and you will install. It's very straightforward, uh, uh, quick install. And uh, you will close your uh, uh, Visual Studio and reopen it. Once you reopen these, uh, there will be tasks, those will appear under the Azure. In my case, they did not get up here because uh, my target server is set to the uh, 2019. So if I go to the properties of this uh, project, go to configuration, and here, uh, if you see that uh, the target SQL version is uh, 2019. If I click on 2017, apply, yes, hit OK. Now what will happen under the Azure tab, all those tags will appear. So let me double click on the package, and here is a task. They're coming back and you can see that uh, I have uh, the list of those tasks uh, available for me. So one of them is called the flexible file task. That's what we are gonna do to delete some file from the Azure blob storage. So double click on that and here uh, you have some configuration to do. Now, first of all, uh, that's the name. You wanna change the name, fine, go ahead. Operation, um, it can copy and uh, or it can delete. In this case, uh, we are going to on uh, delete so we already have a uh, uh, use uh, uh, azure blob download task and azure blob upload task to uh, download the files and upload the files to the azure but uh, here we are going to do uh, first let's do delete and then we'll talk about others uh, now here it's asking me uh, your connection is going to be local file system so if you need to delete the file from the local system uh, some local folder you can do that but in my case i'm going to go to the azure storage in the azure storage once you do that you need to create a connection so i'm going to go new connection and uh, it's going to ask some questions so it's asking hey what is the name of your account on the blob storage. So there are three, three different types of blob storage available. Blob storage, blob storage emulated data lake storage generation two. Now we are gonna provide the account name. I'm gonna go back to my Azure portal and here is my storage name that I'm gonna provide or you call it account. So we will go right there. Provide that and the next step is we have to provide the key service principle or shared access signature. In my case, I'm going to go with the access key. So let's go back to the portal again. And here we are going to go to the storage, go to the access keys. And here we'll say show keys and a copy. Now after copying that, we are going to go back to our Visual Studio and provide that. Just paste it there, 
test your connection and you should be all good test connection succeeded hit okay hit okay now folder path so that's where our connection is ready and now we have to provide the folder path now what we can do here uh, if uh, we click here um, it doesn't say anything so we have to go back and kind of navigate to it now you see that uh, under this um, storage what we have there we have container called the azure input so i'm going to put that and over then we can do backslash and see how it goes and then i'm going to say my demo files and then we can provide the file name so let's go take a look on the file names and here we have my demo files and under that we have this file name let's say we want to do excel file so let me copy this and we will go ahead and provide in the file name and uh, delete recursively if uh, you want to do delete from multiple folders and all that you can do that but in our case we are fine so now we can go ahead and try this out and see if it works now let's go to progress and take a look and here it says that uh, doesn't say much about it uh, and the delete files uh, information delete files from azure storage let's see if it did delete file or maybe we have to do something about it so let me close that go back to the refresh and we see that the file has been deleted so i'm going to go back here and see if i can do more things here in this case i don't know if i will go back here and instead of saying the folder path is correct and file name so maybe i can do something like asterisk dot txt so if I will do something like that, maybe it accept or not, I'm not sure. So I'm going to try that and uh, see if it does accept that. So or otherwise, uh, maybe we are stuck with the file name. So we have to loop through the file names and then try that. So yeah, it failed. So in this case, uh, you looks like uh, in the flexible file transfer task, you have to provide the file name. So it is not going to loop through your list of the files is in bad request. Now, uh, I have to come back here and uh, maybe we can get the list of the files and uh, maybe use uh, some other task uh, and, uh, and try to do that. So that's one of the thing. Uh, now, if uh, I will uh, do customer, yeah, but I have, it looks like I, I don't have choices here. So if I just want to do customer file, so I was thinking like if I can just do customers asterisk, uh, you know, those kind of things. So it looks like it's, it has to be exactly file name. So if you click here, specify the file name. If left blank, the folder will be deleted. So that's, we have the option if you want to delete the entire folder. So if we want to delete my demo files, so if I leave this here, Okay, so now what happened, all the files will be deleted. So that's one thing, specify the file name. If left blank, the folder will be deleted. For Azure Blob Storage, delete folder is not supported. So also you cannot actually delete the entire folder here. So you have to have provided some file name. So in this case, if we wanna go ahead and delete another file, so we will just copy and provide the file name. So that's kind of limitation when you have to delete the files from the this by using this uh, flex files uh, task uh, maybe uh, I I will find out a way uh, how we can loop through the list of the files and do it and we maybe create another video but right now uh, looks like this is uh, all we have so let's uh, take a look on the second file and that uh, this file should be gone 829 so refresh and uh, that file has uh, gone now let's go back here and uh, let's explore other features if we can do if we say copy so in the copy it is uh, also uh, Azure blob storage source connection we already have that uh, that's a connection to blob storage our uh, Azure folder path so remember that uh, we have uh, Azure input backslash my demo files and then uh, you can uh, provide the source file name in this case uh, Let's say if I would like to copy this file to another folder. So I'm going to copy the file name. And now let me go back to the right there. That's the file name. 
search uh, recursively if you have uh, this uh, maybe subfolders and all that and uh, that's uh, sitting there so you want to set it true so it was going to look that now there your destination can be a uh, local file system or uh, you can also copy it to the azure so it's your choice uh, so in this case uh, let's say we want to do to the azure to azure so we want to copy the file from one azure uh, blob uh, uh, container to another one so in this case uh, uh, our connection I'm going to go to the same connection but uh, in this case uh, I'm going to create a new container so let's go to the same storage container and now we do output so output and I'm not creating a blob directory under it I'm just going to leave this output as it is so let's go back here and we will say output container and the destination file name so yeah do the same thing okay and uh, hit OK. Execute. So it should copy that file from uh, one uh, container to another container. So it's working. It just worked fine. And now you go back to your uh, output folder here, and the file is there. So it has been copied. Now, this is a not really uh, very kind of dynamic package, but it can become a dynamic package. Maybe file name is coming. Uh, from some parameter and all that and then you can write a lot of expression so if see you see right there see right here I'm a hard coding so maybe you want to copy the file that you get from the variable or a parameter and then you pass that so go to the expression in the expression you're gonna see all those different properties on which you can write the expressions so here if you go right there so you have a source file path source of file uh, folder path and then you have a connection and all that so you can set all those different uh, uh, properties and use uh, uh, provide them the values from the variable or the parameter and they make it dynamic so this is going to work uh, just fine so depending on your situation uh, you, I don't think so you'll be hard coding you will be using the uh, expressions and uh, every time you are going to run this so you are going to get uh, maybe different file name and just copy from one uh, task, uh, one container to another container and same way you will be using uh, when you are going to be using the lead activity also that's a uh, true you will be writing a lot of expressions uh, uh, to get the file name from uh, maybe top somewhere and then uh, use that in the package thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video